morning guys <laughs> sorry i've literally just woken up so apologies for my hair and everything um i've just thrown on martin's doctor who um <laughs> dressing gown because he's at work today so i thought i'm gonna steal it <laughs> so i've just made myself some tea in my mickey mouse party we got this from disneyland paris oh maybe two trips ago and then I'm going to make myself some crunchy nut cornflakes and have a chill morning. Um, so today is a Saturday, so I'm just going to chill today. Um, as I said, Martin's at work. He's at work until about 8 o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm by myself all day. Um, but I kind of wanted a day just to chill out and then I thought I would vlog as well so you can keep me company. I'm hoping to do a, a little bit of a flat update. I'm going to show you what we have so far and then also what we're hoping to get. So I do that at the same time, like I'll go around the flat and say what parts are staying and then what parts we want to change. It's all like cosmetic stuff um, because we're renting, we're obviously not allowed to like actually change anything of the flat. But we're allowed to obviously decorate it how we like. So I'll show you kind of our plans of how we want to decorate it. I'm also going to watch a lot of Love is Blind. Yep, that's going to happen <laughs> because I'm so addicted to it. Um, I'll probably finish it today, to be fair. I think I'm about halfway through. I watched three episodes yesterday, but I just love it. It's so addictive. <laughs> Pop in the comments if you've watched it, but don't give away any spoilers um, in case people are watching it. Um, but I'll probably watch that today. I'm also going to nip into town. I've got a few things to pick up. And I've got a little to-do list as well of some emails that I need to send and little bits and bobs. So I thought I would just do a really cosy home vlog. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. But first, let's have some breakfast. And I'm probably going to watch some YouTube, I think. <laughs> That little box there is actually our new internet. Um, it arrived yesterday, I think, but it doesn't um, start working until Monday. So we've got a couple more days where we're using BT Wi-Fi <laughs> off Martin's laptop, plugging it in, and then we can watch YouTube and Netflix and everything. Yeah, BT Wi-Fi has been a bit of a savior because we haven't had Wi-Fi for about two weeks or a week and a half because it takes quite a while for them to send you the box and then also for it to be activated. But I've only got two more days to wait and then we will have proper internet. But for now, at least I can still watch YouTube. So I think I'm gonna watch, um, oh, Sophie and Dave have a new one. We went on a baby moon, so I'm gonna watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit of time has passed I had a shower um, I haven't put any makeup on I think I'm going to have a non-makeup day today because I'm only lounging around the house and then well you see I didn't put on makeup I didn't wash my hair and I put on my sports clothes because I thought if I did that then I might go for a run because I've been meaning to start couch to 5k again for about a month <laughs> I haven't been running in maybe two three months and I got all the way up to week eight on couch to 5k and then I just stopped doing it and I was so disappointed in myself because I'd got so far um because I've never been good at running and up to week eight I was practically running a 5k three times a week and then the weather got really bad over Christmas um it just got really cold and like I just didn't want to go outside anymore and then I stopped doing it. But I really, really want to start it again. And there's some really nice places to run here. So I have no excuse. So I thought if I don't put any makeup on, leave my hair so I can just throw it up, put on my sports clothes, then I don't have any excuse to go for a run later. And I think I might even start from week one and like ease myself in gently again because it was so good. And it was also really good like mentally as well. I loved the feeling of going for a run and I just felt really good about myself when I was doing it so I need to get back on it 
but I thought quickly I would do you a flat update kind of tour so I'll go through the flat I'll show you what furniture we've got and then also what I'm planning to do with each room um, and hopefully that'll be a little bit interesting I don't know <laughs> but I always like having a nosy at people's flats and things so yeah let's start so I'll start it like a like a flat tour like I did when we um, moved in. So this is the door. So I'll turn you around. So the main thing that we need to get is a shoe rack. Because <laughs> I think this is the perfect place to have a little shoe rack. At the moment, all of our trainers and boots are just here. So I want to look for a really nice shoe rack to have um, just in this corner here. Um, this is going back to my dad's because it's my dad's um, so he's coming to pick that up next week more of Martin's shoes so yeah basically this hallway needs a shoe rack <laughs> and then we've already filled this um, cupboard <laughs> so we keep all our bags for like shopping toilet roll the iron oh tennis rackets here because that's another one of our little um resolutions that we want to start this year is that we want to start playing tennis together because we thought that'd be really cute hoover and cases um a fan for summer but basically this is like already quite full and martin keeps laughing at me because whenever he's like where should i put this and i'm like oh, i'll just throw it in that cupboard and he's like it won't fit in that cupboard <laughs> it's just my answer for everything so i feel like that's gonna become like a monica cupboard um if you watch friends <laughs> i feel like it's just gonna be full of stuff that can't live anywhere else so the hallway is still pretty bare um obviously there's so many like wall spaces for prints so i'm gonna put some prints here and here probably and then I'll think I'll keep the rest of it quite clear I think I mean I could put a table with a lamp because there is a um, plug there but we'll see so the bedroom's doing quite well look it's got furniture in it <laughs> the last time you saw it I think there was literally just a bed <laughs> um, but now we have the bed we've got our bedside tables but I'm gonna keep these bedside tables because I really like them and um, we also picked up a lamp um, from my friend's mum. She very kindly gifted us some furniture and also these lamps because she was moving so we were very grateful. And then my little corner here just got some hair stuff and then I've got my dressing table. This is just an Ikea dressing table, I've just thrown some makeup in there. Um, but it's really nice because I have my own little area to get ready. I want to change this chair. I'm either going to get a really nice dressing table chair or Martin's gonna paint this white for me because as you can see it's like a creamy colour and it just looks a bit weird against the white so I'm either gonna paint this white or get a really nice chair for it I'm thinking like a really cute pink chair or something just quite girly but something that will tie in with like the makeup station um, and then this behind the door is another wardrobe that we were gifted from my mum's friend and it's huge it's so good so I've managed to fit so many of my clothes in there this is just a box full of toiletries and um, as you will see in the bathroom we don't have a bathroom cabinet yet so once we get a bathroom cabinet these will all go in the bathroom and then I thought this was a really nice area so you've got our washing basket hide my washing <laughs> and then I'm thinking of having a really nice plant here uh, once that's gone just a big really nice plant maybe an artificial one if I can find a really nice one and um, so then I don't have to worry about killing it <laughs> um, but yeah I just thought that'd be a really nice place to put some greenery because everything is very white which I love um, but I think we just need a bit of greenery in chest of drawers this was also a gift from my um, friend's mum which was just so kind of her I need to get some shelving separator drawers um, for my clothes and um, then we just got the TV on here we need to get a longer extension lead which will go around the back to hide it all away Martin's big wardrobe and yeah so the, the bedroom's coming along slowly but for now it's perfect so basically if you've seen our honeymoon announcement video you will know that we are off to Orlando for three weeks in September and also we have our wedding this year and um, so we have a lot to pay for at the moment and um, so financially we just can't really afford to like deck out the flat like that and um, we're gonna have to do it gradually so I'm really grateful that we've managed to 
either reused stuff that we used in our last flat or people have very kindly gifted us some furniture and things because we haven't really had to spend anything on decorating it so far um, which is amazing and then I think gradually maybe like month by month I'm going to focus on one room and then just make it perfect how I want it because for the bedroom as well I've got my eye on a new duvet set and I also really really do want a new duvet um, because we've had this duvet for like years and years and years so yeah I kind of want to deck out the whole bed with like different bedding different duvet set probably over the next month I feel like I might start with the bedroom because it's quite an easy one to start with so yeah, I might do like, this is the before, and then maybe in a month or so's time, I can do like an after and uh, show once I've like redecorated it all. But for now it's perfect and I love it. I love the size. It's just a really good size for us. Lots of room, lots of storage. And yeah, I'm really chuffed with it. Um, so I'll quickly show you the bathroom. We haven't really done anything in here. Um, but it's really nice anyway, because it was all newly decorated just before we moved in. And so I love all these tiles and things. So there's not really much to do in here. The main thing is we need a bath mat because I'm just using an old towel <laughs> at the moment. But yeah, so we need a bath mat. Um, this just has toiletries in again. So I wanna get rid of that. And then I'm thinking of putting a bathroom cabinet here with all the toiletries in and then you're gonna laugh because I'm gonna say this so many times, but then a plant here. <laughs> um, so I need to think of some good plants that live well in like humid areas, like a bathroom. Or if not, I might just get an artificial plant if I can find a really nice one. Just to bring some greenery, which will go here. So that will go, that will go. And then we'll have a nice bath mat, a bathroom cabinet and a big plant. And then I think, we're nearly there. Maybe some like storage here um, to keep shampoos and stuff that you use in the shower. That might be quite good. But apart from that, it's a really nice bathroom. It also has quite a lot of wall space. So like, again, I could put like a print here or a print above the toilet. That might be quite nice. I'll make sure I'll do a before and after of the bathroom as well. So next is the living room, which is probably the one which we have the most still to do. Still got loads of boxes of things that just don't have a home yet. But yeah, I'll show you. So it's very livable at the moment because we've got two sofas now, which is amazing. But I want to deck it out. I want new pillows. Um, these were pillows from our old flat. This is just a throw um, when we get cold. I just snuggle up with it. But yeah, they're like... It's perfect for now, but yeah, over the year, I want to redecorate it with new pillows. This coffee table was very kindly gifted from my friend's mum again, so thank you so much. Um, it's perfect big size. I do want to get a cover for it. This was from our old flat. It's just a TV stand. TV, um, our internet is coming on Monday, so that's, can't wait for that. At the moment, we're having, oh, I think I said earlier, we're having to plug in Martin's laptop. <laughs> Um, this is such a little handy drawer though um, because we can keep our record player in here which is so nice because we should be able to um, play more music from our record player and then we've got some records there and um, so I love that. Um, another little table for this sofa. Got a bookshelf, Martin's Pops, they were like the first thing that he took out of the box and placed Pride of Joy on this bookshelf. Although this might all change, we've kind of just shoved everything on here. Um, and also on this bookshelf as well. Actually, this will probably stay the same because this is all our DVDs and Blu-rays. So that's nice because it's right next to the TV. But this one might change because what we're gonna do is put another bookshelf here, um, which is gonna have like ornaments and some books. Um, also all our plushes. <laughs> We didn't realise how many plushes, this, this bag is just full of plushes. So like, we need to find a place for them all. So we're thinking maybe on that bookshelf, <laughs> give them their own little shelf. But this will all be cleared. And then Martin's guitar will probably live maybe here behind the sofa. But yeah, we're going to have a table, um, which I think we're going to pick up next week. It's from my brother. Um, it's a big glass table that he didn't want. Um, but Martin's going to use it as like his editing station. 
and we've got his chair oh yeah his chair is here um so his office chair will go with it and then we've got this little um chest of drawers to keep like stationary and officey things um under the desk and then also the printer can go there so that'll be like a little office station and then the main thing is that i have pride a place for another plant <laughs> so i want a really big plant here so yeah if anyone has any good places to get plants um, that aren't too expensive please pop them in the comments and also if anyone knows any good websites where you can get artificial plants that look real um that would be perfect you know just to save me <laughs> killing all these plants it might be safer if i if i have a few big artificial ones um but yeah i want them to look quite realistic obviously they're not going to look as realistic as real plants um but you can get some quite good dupes these days so if you know any websites that sell really good artificial plants please pop them in the comments so yeah that's the living room or, um, obviously we're going to put up so many prints as well um, I'll show you actually so basically this and this is just full of prints and photos and pictures and just stuff for the walls we were actually thinking of filming a video where we go through all the prints and we um, talk about them and why they're special to us because we've collected so many prints and like wall arts over the years that some of them have really nice like special meanings behind them so we're thinking of filming a video where we go through and chat about them and then also we show where we put them up in our flat although I don't think we're going to be able to put them all up because <laughs> we have so many I think we'll have to wait until we have a big house <laughs> till we can actually put them all up yeah oh anyway I haven't shown you the kitchen um, so yeah, this is the kitchen. Uh, please mind the clothes horse. I've just put a wash on, so I'm about to put that out. Um, basically, we just want to get a really nice little table here with two chairs so that we have somewhere to sit because there's so much room that you can fit a table. And then up on the wall, we're thinking of putting some prints. We've also got a clock to go up, a calendar, which I think is going to go here sloth calendar of course oh also we've got a pin board to go up somewhere probably up here or here and then the rest of the kitchen is pretty it's pretty done it's pretty new it's pretty nice so there's not much to change we eventually want to get a new toaster and a new kettle but yeah oh i also want to get a nice rug um because everywhere else in the flat is carpet and um, so i just want a nice rug so that it's nice on your feet in the morning Oh, we found a place for our um, Disney, because um, we don't have, a, well, we have a fridge, but it's not one with a magnetic front because it's like a, um, like a unit. So we got these from like Disney World and Disneyland Paris. That was from Disneyland Paris when we got engaged. And that was when Martin survived Tower of Terror for the first time. <laughs> So yeah, that's how far we've got with the flat so far. Um, it's definitely livable, like, I feel really happy here already and we haven't done anything to it. Um, so I can't wait to have it like fully decorated how I want it um, because then it's just gonna look, oh, it's gonna look so nice. And it's just really nice to have somewhere that's ours and I don't know, like, we've lived obviously with family, which we're so grateful for. And then we also lived on cruise ships for the past few years. So we've never had anywhere that's like just us two. Um, so it's really nice to have that again. And yeah, we're just really happy. It's such a nice area and I love the flat. But yeah, so I think now I'm gonna put on maybe a Disney film, maybe. And also I've got a long list of emails that I need to get done. So I'm gonna do that first. And then I think I might go for a run. Um, so watch this space. <laughs> I love this. It's so cozy. It's like my little um, house coat. <laughs> if there's any Scottish viewers, do you call your dressing gown a house coat? Because um, we had a Scottish dancer on the ship I did, and she called a dressing gown a house coat, uh, which I thought was really cute. And this is like my little house coat. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, but I've got a lot done actually. I've sent all the emails that were on my list. Um, done a few other bits and bobs oh I had a little look um, 
at Monsoon because they have 25% off at the moment. And I was looking at it for, oh, let's just turn this down. I've just been watching Aladdin, the live action. It's my favorite live action. It's so good. So yeah, I watched the whole of that whilst I was doing my emails. And um, like I was saying, I was having a little look at Monsoon because I was looking for a junior bridesmaid dress um, because I've ordered a bridesmaid dress for my adult bridesmaids um, and we're actually trying it on in like a week or so. They're all coming over to my mum's and we're all trying it on. Well, I'm not. <laughs> They're trying on the bridesmaid dress um, to see if they like it. So I might film that actually and uh, put that as part of uh, the wedding series vlogs. But I'm looking for a junior bridesmaid dress so I've just been having a little look at dresses and I came across one well actually my mum came across it and sent it through to me but yeah so I've been doing that uh watched Aladdin I'm gonna make myself some soup and I was actually gonna go for a run but it started hailstoning <laughs> um I just feel do you feel like every weekend it's such bad weather at the moment I think there's another storm this weekend um we've had storm Dennis storm can't remember the other storm we had, but like every weekend there seems to be a new storm. Um, so I didn't really fancy running in hailstones. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna do some yoga because as well as running, I really wanna do my yoga every day or at least like five times a week from home. Um, so the soup I'm gonna have is this Tesco garden vegetable soup. And I love these soups. Um, they're really easy, you just pop them in the microwave and they're really yummy and they do so many different um, flavors so i'm gonna have this and some bread i think i'm gonna watch an episode of love is blind because i need to know what happens <laughs> all right love is blind is on i'm up to episode four i think um it's like the couple's retreat this show is so weird but so addictive but i think when i put it on instagram yesterday someone commented saying um the final and then like a shocked face so I'm guessing that the final is crazy so I'm excited and it is looking a bit brighter now so I think I probably will head into town after um but yeah we'll see okay I just watched that latest episode it's kicking off <laughs> um so it's the one where they all met each other again so all the couples like met the other couples and Jessica met Barnett and um, I can't remember Barnett's fiance, but she's scary. Um, yeah, it's really weird, <laughs> but it's really addictive. You'll know what I'm on about if you're watching it. Um, but yeah, I just watched that episode. I'm really tempted to watch another one, but I am gonna head out to town before it gets too late. So yeah, let's go to town. I'm gonna pick up, I just need to pick up a little bit of food and I also need to pick up a card um, that I need to send. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I just need to get out of the house and yeah, have a little wander, a little bit of fresh air. So I'm wrapped up all cosy. I'm going to go get the bus into town, have a quick wander around the shops, um, but it's getting quite dark. <laughs> and then I might even go for a little walk along the long walk. Not the whole of it, because it's like two miles long. Um, but I might just do a little wander just to get some fresh air and get my steps in because I haven't done my run. <laughs> uh, but then when I get back, I am going to do my yoga. I am. <laughs> This walk goes on for about two and a half miles, I think. So I'm not going to do it all. I think I'm just going to walk a little bit and then turn back. But it's just gorgeous, even as it gets darker. And then if you turn around, you've got an amazing view of the castle. So I've walked quite far. I think I'm going to turn around in a moment. But it's just so peaceful. There's like the odd walker, the odd like dog walker. And there's like quite a lot of cars actually. But it's still like really peaceful and lovely. And yeah, it's, it's really nice. I'm glad I came out for a little walk. And if I turn around, you can see right in the distance there's the castle. So I think I'm gonna walk back on myself now and walk back into town. 
Mmm, pizza express margarita. Yes. Uh, yeah. I also got some biscuits, which I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna do my yoga, and then as a treat for doing my yoga, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and biscuits uh, whilst I wait for Martin to come home. yoga with adrian it is so good if you haven't checked out her youtube channel 100 percent check it out all of her videos you can do in the comfort of your own living room she does yoga for literally anything uh, so i'm gonna have a cup of tea and some biscuits i'm gonna watch another episode of love is blind see what um barnett's up to my moana mug and yeah in the next clip you'll probably see martin uh, which you're all probably very pleased about because I have been chatting away for like however long this vlog is so far. Look who it is! Hello! <laughs> I have someone else to talk to now. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be a really quick clip guys because I've just edited what I filmed today. I had over an hour's footage. So I've managed to... <laughs> what have you been doing? I don't know, just chatting and chatting. I managed to cut it down to half an hour. So what you're seeing right now, there was like double this amount. <laughs> um, it's, more than, it's more than a Disney vlog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry guys If you've made it this far just put a smiley face in the comments And I'll know that you, you made it this far <laughs> Thank you so much uh, But Martin's home, we're going to chill We've eaten some pizza And yeah we'll see you in the next the next vlog Sorry that I just <laughs> appear and then that's the end I'm tired Yeah you've had a long day You ready for some Gilmore Girls? If you're out on your own <laughs> oh but look you still finish on a song <laughs> feeling lonely and so cold bye guys <laughs> all you bye, gotta do girls. is call up my name <laughs> and say i'll bye. be there bye. on the next train bye <laughs>